All right, this is part four of English essay writing. This is gonna be a bit hard. This is where you start writing your steel paragraphs um, for the actual body of your essay. So as I'm writing there, the body of an essay is basically a series of supporting paragraphs that provide evidence for your argument in response to the essay question. And as you can see in the color up there, We've already decided what our argument is in response to the essay question. We did that through our brainstorm in part one. Okay, the first thing you need to do is start off with your line of argument. Okay, so this is your statement. That's the S of steel. So as you can see up there in green, the beauty of nature, and we've just finished it with the beauty of nature is captured by Wordsworth in his poem, Daffodils verb captured there is important. You have to experiment with which verbs work. All right, the next sentence is T and that's technique. So statement technique. So the technique that we already identified in our brainstorm was personification. So I've underlined it there. We start off with the word personification. This is another example of nominalization. So having sort of like a, um, a noun driving your sentence. So I'm putting in brackets just so you can see statement technique because we're doing the steel paragraph structure. So personification is the technique. And then the next thing we put in straight away, we just go comma and we put the quote. This is working on that um, idea of cutting out dead words. So you don't need to say is used by. So that's our example, E-S-T-E. -E. So beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze is the example. And then you need to say, what is the effect? So we say that the personification in the example creates an image of the beautiful daffodils moving in the wind, much like a dancer moves to the music. So you need to do a bit more brainstorming just to work out what is the effect of that technique? Do we imagine something? Do we feel something? Do we think something? So I've put in brackets effect. And then the last part is link. So we link to the wider world. Why? does anyone care about this idea? Why is it important? And then we need to link back to the essay question. So I've said the splendor of nature often evokes strong feelings in people. That's an important sort of idea for everyone. And then I've said, and the reader can appreciate the joy that Wordsworth feels towards nature because that links back to the essay question. So I'm not going to talk through the next paragraph. I just want you to watch what's happening and see if you can identify the steel Oh, just before I do, that's a connective. We use connectives to say, you know, there's something else that we're going to be talking about in the second paragraph. So the freedom of nature is also, a connective is a joining word. You know, you're sort of joining the two paragraphs together through the use of the word also. And I'll provide you in class with a list of connectives that you might want to choose from. So just have a look at what I do in this paragraph. So I'm just highlighting the word triggers here for you. This is what we call a verb of doing. So it's a verb that demonstrates the effect of a technique. So um, it, it sort of, it tells us what the technique does to our imagination or to our hearts or to our minds. Um, and I'm highlighting effectively because that's an adverb. So that just gives us, um, it gives us your personal opinion. Is it an effective um, triggering or an ineffective. So the adverb describes the verb. It's just adding another level of sophistication to your writing. So as you can see, I've underlined the technique. I've put the example in italics and I have put in bold the effect of the technique. And the effect goes over two sentences here because I want to say a lot. The number of flowers is exaggerated in the image to accentuate the liberty of the flowers as they bloom freely and seem to create a border between the land and water. Okay, so nature is often unrestrained. That's the link to the wider world. And clearly Wordsworth admires the daffodils for their freedom links to the question. And that's it.